Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Robinson, and I uh, have the privilege of leading the CCOE team at, at GM Financial. And today I'm here to talk to you about how the, the cloud and a shift in mindset is reshaping how we build resilient systems. In this talk, we'll borrow some insights from great thinkers like Nassim Tlaib and Simon Sinek and show how long-term success more than just, is more than just technical solutions, it requires a mindset shift. We'll also discuss how shifting from economies of scale to economies of speed can create resilient and highly available and adaptable systems. By building cloud systems with resilience, we can weather these black swan events that, that uh, Taleb talks about in his book and keep, and keep adapting. System downtime costs large enterprise billions of dollars every year. And downtime is not just a technical issue, it's a business risk affecting customer trust and brand reputation. As Simon Sinek points out in The Infinite Game, success isn't about beating competitors in the short term, it's about staying in the game and continually evolving, and resilience ensures that we can do that. The cloud gives us tools and agility, enabling rapid response to both expected and unexpected events. Taleb's idea from the black swan is that we can't really predict every disruption. This reinforces why the cloud's flexibility is so important. We need systems that can adapt quickly when surprises happen. High availability ensures that systems stay online during small scale failures. Disaster recovery kicks in when failures go beyond what HA can handle, helping return systems to normal operation quickly and efficiently. Resilience isn't just built during planning, it's achieved through continuous improvement. Practices like CICD and chaos engineering help organizations be proactive and allow you to test your systems under real world stresses. Traditionally, Organizations were optimized for scale, producing as much as possible at a low cost. But today, the real advantage is speed. How fast can you adapt and how fast can you innovate? Simon Sinek's infinite game thinking applies right here. It's not about being the biggest, but about being the best adaptable and resilient enough to stay in the game for the long run. In traditional IT, the pressure was on to get everything perfect from the start because we have limited resources, long lead times. But in the cloud, agility allows us to fail fast, iterate, and ultimately get it right over time. This adaptability is what builds long-term resilience. Instead of trying to predict what will happen years from now, we really need to focus on just preparing for any future we can do this through rapid experimentation, trying many small bets, and then see what works. Modern resilient organizations are adopting tools like canary deployments, programmatic controls, infrastructure as code, chaos engineering, and AI to move faster and build resilience into their everyday operations. These tools are necessary to allow continuous automated improvement. Taleb emphasizes in the, the Black Swan that rare, unpredictable events can cause failure, but resilience means using all of these moments to learn and adapt. Simon Sinek's Infinite Game encourages leaders to view failure as part of the process. Each failure is an opportunity for us to improve resilience and innovate. The shift from scale to speed allows businesses to focus on rapid iteration and resilience. Taleb mentions and reminds us that we can't predict all disruptions, but with an infinite mindset focused on adaptability and continuous learning, we can ensure that our systems evolve and grow stronger with every challenge. So to sum it all up, resilience in the cloud is not just about technology, it's also about mindset. By leveraging the cloud's flexibility and fostering a culture of experimentation and learning, we can build resilient systems that thrive, no matter what challenges come our way. As I wrap up the talk, I'd like to share three steps you can take back with you to your organizations. 
Embrace agility and, and adaptability. Focus on preparing for any future through rapid experimentation. Systems thinking, look holistically at your people, process, and applications, and consider potential issues and impacts. And last, implement iterative processes that help improve your, your resilience overall. Here's some additional resources to uh, help you on your learning journey that I wanted to share. And last, just like Taylor Swift has her different eras, our journey in the cloud era is all about evolving and adapting. Thank you for your time today and enjoy the rest of the conference.